Okay. First, we're going to get into reviews. So the first thing I have here is City Skylines. I actually played some of the first one. Uh, I will say the first City Skylines is a... It's fun. It's an enjoyable little um, uh, city builder game. Very fun. I enjoy it. Um, so the second one, which people were excited about, came out. It came out to a 76. Now, contrary to some of the games we saw last week that got 76s, I'm actually going to say this is okay. And the reason why I'm saying this is okay is this is the type of game like compared to Assassin's Creed Mirage. Assassin's Creed Mirage is more than likely not going to improve with time. Yeah. It's not. This game... The more content it gets, it's just going to keep getting better. I'm assuming it's just going to keep getting better. Obviously, it could it could drop something and it's awful. But this game getting a 76, I'm actually okay with. I think it's okay. I think if you're still a fan of the first game and you want to try the second one, like you may just wait and keep playing the first yeah. game. But I think 76 is okay for now. They're going to likely start investing in... like new content dlcs over the course of the next maybe year or two this game is going to improve a lot is what i think is going to happen um obviously there's like some danger of well what if they just stop supporting it because it's so bad but i don't think that's going to happen i think a 76 is okay for this game contrary to like last week's 76s that we saw our 77s this game getting a 76 is fine in my opinion yeah i mean i think that's a reasonable take i mean i've the, the variance on the reviews is actually pretty pretty large. There's a pretty big range on the, the scores that it got. I mean, you can even see in this preview. Mm -hmm. um, I guess there's nothing higher than an 8 here, but if you look look through, like, all of them, I think there's some 9s and even, like, even, like, 1 or 2 10s. Um, and then there's a couple that are, like, 3 and 4, where it's like, yeah, the performance is just awful and, you know, the game is basically freaking unplayable right uh, um just going checking yeah i mean i so yeah the the, var the variance is pretty large uh on these reviews which is always like a bit odd a bit odd to me mm -hmm. um usually there's a few outliers here and there but with this one it wasn't just like you know one site gave it like a four or something no there were there was at least a couple um yeah so and yeah i heard this game has like big time performance issues that was kind of the main complaint i heard levied it levied at it um sure i'm not i'm i'm not a fan of these like sim city type games basically i, I don't have any interest in playing this but i this was a relatively big release, and then we talked about it briefly at the Paradox show early the, earlier this year. So yeah, this I thought I'd mention it, and it was, you know, I was hearing some things that, you know, the release isn't great, isn't great. Basically, it, it needs some work. But I do agree with you that I think this game will improve over time. They will continue Definitely. to support it. The performance, I'm sure, will get better. I'm sure they will patch it and have dlcs and add stuff to it because that's the way paradox generally does things so yeah paradox yeah. they support those games um yeah i agree i think obviously performance is a huge problem on a release we but we, we see that constantly now with like games coming out performance is poor and it it generally will take about a month or two to see that get resolved i'm not saying that's a good trend by the way i'd, I'd appreciate games come out with good performance day one but yeah I, I am starting to see more and more of this, obviously with, you know, first week in particular, game performance is is really, it really struggles, and I don't I don't know how they fix that or how they improve that, but I think this game is going to ultimately be fine. They're going to figure it out after a couple months. The performance is going to improve, and probably after another year or two, this game will be like, okay, we should move from Skylines one to two. I imagine the hardcore fans are probably just going to stick with Skylines 1 until these things are fixed, which makes sense. Yeah. Skylines 1 is obviously heavily supported and has a ton of content right now, so I don't I don't see why you jump ship yet. Um, but yeah. Anyway, don't have anything yep. else to say. No, me neither. I, I agree with you. It seems like if you're a fan of this, uh, or at least the first game, probably stick with the first one for a little bit until they... Uh 
until they iron out some of the mm. some of the issues with with two right um <clears throat> okay let's jump to the next review we have super mario bros wonder uh this game came out yesterday i haven't played it yet but i'm looking forward to trying to play this at some point soon once i uh finish some other stuff uh, i'm thinking hopefully next month i i I'm not shocked by the scores at all, and no. I really don't have much to say. I I don't really look at all the reviews in detail. I look at just the the average here, or, and I mean, I expected something high. 92 is very high, obviously. So I'm looking forward to playing it, and I just want to reiterate once again, I think this might be one of the best gaming years I've seen in, like, more than a decade. There are a lot of good games. <laughs> yeah, in term in terms of like review scores, it's probably the best. There's been so many games with like metas in the '90s. We had a big discussion on that like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um. So I don't want to like go into that again. Um. But it's a bi it's a big Nintendo release. These always get like really high reviews, like Mario and Zelda, especially. Like they they just do gangbusters every time in terms of reviews pretty much so um and sales i'm sure yeah. so oh sales this will sell well yeah not not surprising um i know you love the 2d marios i yeah. myself prefer prefer the 3d the 3d mario games i love the i love absolutely loved odyssey yep um i haven't picked this up yet i'm not sure i will um maybe eventually but it's not on my radar to pick up right now so yeah, I love these. I love these 2Ds. 2D platformers are still one of my favorite things. I love them. They're so simple, yet there's a lot of enjoyment I get from it. I love the simplicity, though. Um, okay, I don't have anything else to add. I'm, a, I'm interested to play this, uh, hopefully soon. Last one. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Uh, obviously, this one had a lot of interest and hype considering the first game uh this one scored at a 91 which is outstanding obviously um i haven't played the first one this the big one part of this this one was venom the symbiote was in the game and you you get like the symbiote you know um attached with spider-man for a part again that's obviously going to be part of the story um I mean, 91's great. I don't, I don't have anything to say. Like, that's a great score. I imagine this game's really fun. Web web swinging, from what I've seen in videos, it looks really fun. Everything that I've seen so far makes this game look really enjoyable. So, great, good stuff. Uh, I'm sure this is a great another great addition to the PlayStation library. We'll see it on PC in like two years or something. Yep, we will see it on PC <laughs> we'll in, 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 in a couple years. of years. Yeah, um, it's all thinking. Yeah, same. I don't also don't have much to say. I didn't play the first one. I don't intend to play the second one. I mean, not that it doesn't look good. Um, just not on my radar right now. Uh, I'm sure the game is really fun, but mm. uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure web swimming is fun. I've heard combat is like improved in this one. You can. The customization is really good in terms of the way you can like the different suits you can unlock and the way you can make spider-man look and you know you can play as both uh peter and miles morales in this game mm -hmm. i don't know if they actually play any differently um, they definitely do it, they but, they do not yeah. play the same i mean like if they yeah. played the same i would be like that would be a bit silly. a bit silly uh, there's some nuance so okay yeah like guess this I never played the first one. I'm sure I would enjoy the first one a lot. I'm 100 percent sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure I would enjoy it. Too. I actually sure. think I I picked it. I might have picked, actually picked it up on like a sale or something at one point. I just never yeah. played it. Um, but yeah, obviously this one being good, I'm not surprised. Yeah, no, su no no surprise. Sony Sony first party release. They the only first party sony first party release that i can think of in recent memory that didn't review incredibly well was days gone it was days gone and, it was actually it, just days gone and it I wasn't and like that game wasn't like horrible it just wasn't that good it like, just wasn't yeah it just wasn't it's not the pinnacle that is the expectation 
which is this game needs to sell well, review well, be like a what, potential blockbuster. I forget what the meta for that game was. Was it like 75 seven. maybe? It was, it was like oh, seven. 70? Okay, that's I don't know about really 70, but I know it was a seven. It's It probably got to like 75 now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, we can just look this up. Yeah, look it up. I, I feel like 75. It's 72. So this was a, uh, you know, is for Sony first party, let's put it in that context. Not great. <laughs> not great. That is significantly not like great. they're trying to, what they're like averages for like their first party titles in recent memory is like 85 to 90. It's gotta be probably. like 85. Maybe it's, maybe it's closer to 90 actually. Cause I just feel like everyone that comes out is just like freaking it's good 80s like, or 90s it's, it's good ridiculous like yeah. horizon god of war spider-man like all of them right yep it, the expectation is it it's it's a it's a high quality game because they want to they want to sell the console that's that's the game is you you sell the console days gone does not sell a console that that does not sell a console at all that it's, it doesn't so that's why that game did not get a second one no matter how much the uh the the developer cries about it, it it's not getting a second so i don't have anything else to say for spider-man or days going for that matter nope me neither okay 